Good morning, everyone. Today, I guess, uh, I think four day uh, fasting starting now. So I don't know where I'm going. And uh, I don't remember what I am sleep like about 11 and a half hours. I sleep. I completely stop it and I go to bed just get to wash my tooth face and go to bed and it took me 11 hours and I didn't even wake up during him uh... oh this guy he pay for the parking here that's free parking here I don't know why he pay and I didn't even wake up I sleep like the baby it's a four day fasting I think it was too much like what I pay attention, if I eat too much shit between my fastings, like even was right now, uh, when I've been in holidays, I eat potato. So last time I eat potato, maybe, I know, once I eat potato in uh, Turkey, yeah. So maybe three years ago. Maybe three years ago. Oh, okay. I think we're going there, but I have to go there. So price to fuel 287, but we will get in the Phoenix way out to the Phoenix to the west for 283. And I don't get a fuel here because the guys he wanna uh, pay before right. get fuel. It's kind of weird. Like I gave him always a car. And he says, no, 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 I need to prepay. Maybe uh, many people came there. They gave the card, get a fuel. And after that, they didn't pay. So that's the situation. But now it's outside 13 degrees. New Mexico, it's about a hundred, yeah, a hundred yeah no yeah it's about 100 miles before uh, albuquerque it's crazy cold this night i, ju I even a little bit uh, was cold so it's a 13 degrees i like this weather i hope it will be same weather in the uh, phoenix but not this year, time of the year it's gonna be it's still gonna be warm but who know phoenix uh, here they like uh, surprise the drivers with the weather so plan for today driving 900 kilometers and go to the gym not for the lift any heavy weights just for the stretching just for the stretching i will stay there a couple hours and after that, I have a delivery one. I am in the morning, so I will give them around uh, 11. And um, people still take me over. So I, I, I still sleep. That's the plan. So. Uh, and I uh, will make a uh, more video later on but guys don't forget to surprise subscribe uh, I still can't even talk right now uh, don't forget to subscribe and put your comment below and I see you guys in the next short video so guys I stop now beside the knife city outlet so we're going uh, checking out uh, now what's going on there and I will left give them the uh, sharpen my knife. Uh, my knife never ever cut any meats uh, or something animal. That's knife I get from uh, from overseas. I think I pay something three or four hundred bucks. I will show you later on how the looks like and from here. I can see it looks like old Russian vehicle there. So it's called the Gas 24. 
but I'm not sure it looks like gas 24 maybe that's the different model of any um, US vehicle but from the side how I see it's a front nose it looks like gas 24 so we'll see right now uh what is that vehicle and we go inside it's i used to be in there like maybe three years ago when i last time sharpened my knife yeah that's about three years ago um we'll ask guy to sharpen the knife and we'll uh, walk in a little bit inside in a store but like i remember it's they have lots of lots of beautiful knives like people who love the knives they should stop it but price a little bit uh, expensive there but i will show you all prices will show you we will go and make a tour inside we will probably talk with the guys but yeah okay guys i see you in the next video just follow me put your uh, uh, comments below and i see you next video so that's the how they looks like that uh, building so that's big sign there and see there that looks like a russian car it's a front but on the back it's not looks like russian car i don't know maybe some gmc or whatever and this is they have sign so this is butterfly and this is swiss knife so we're gonna see so i think it's a my one we're gonna be sharpen right now so we're gonna see this vehicle uh, yeah why not so talk with the people they ask me no that's look this is not russian car but it looks like like the volga i will make a video in front so that's the fourth jesus christ why i think that's the for volga but it looks like like the volga i don't know so i talk with the people they ask me where i'm from they from kentucky they go to iowa or from iowa so it's people traveling here and this is so i'm gonna turn camera around so this is fourth falcon but it looks it was looks like Volga from the far. See how the people on that time they make a quality steel. You can see any rust there. I don't know if any engine there. Oh look at that. Oh, it's some engine here, lots of wires. Two, four, six cylinder engine. It's a nice Ford, Mr. Ford create this vehicle. So now we're going inside. We'll see what's going on there. Oh, such a beautiful shop here. They have lots of nice doors. So price one seventy. Those one two hundred. So lots of knives. Lots of. See one seventy four. So they sharpen my knife. My knife. So that kitchen knives. Oh, this one is nice. I love kitchen knives. This one also. That looks like exactly like my one. It's called the chef, master chef or whatever. Oh, John Deere. That one nice. Oh, see this one. That's hunter knives, I guess. So 
240. 240. That's one nice. Nice city. I will go other side. See those ones for skimming. And that sort for sale? No. no? Ah, okay. It's nothing for sale here, no? No, not at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> are they original or they just make them? Okay. So those stones, it was X wood, like the guy told me. So that was X tree. That's it's, it's used to tree, but I don't know is it true or not. Not looks like. If they're round, so why they should be tree? I don't know. If you know true about those rocks, put the comment below. So it's there, lots of rocks. We'll go and walk. So yeah, guys, I show you my second knife. It's like that. So and I talk with the guys inside, he says it's a good job. And he straight away realized that's the Russian work. He has uh, lots of Russian knives there too. See, those rocks, it's saying that's the tree. I don't know if we'll go there, but who cares for those that coffee, I'm in a fasting. I will not go in there. So I like these ones when the people put a tree there starting growing up but arizona it's too dry country too dry uh, too very dry state so this tree it's a tree it's stones and i remember when navajo they selling that's like souvenirs so something growing up here and guys, remember, only plants can do from them roots. They can transfer or oh, minimal. Non-organic minerals, it's actually here on the stone, to organic minerals. So that's what can do plant roots. That's the, how I know. So, so for now, I will finish this review here. I will not go there to antique it because when I drive by pass there, I see it's shit antique there. So talk with the guy. He tell me in Russian, до свидания. He know a couple of Russian words, even swearing words, even bad words. And I just laugh and we talk with him for a couple minutes. He asked me to, he wanna go in Russia. I says, here yeah, is a chip there for thousand bucks. You can stay there for a month. And he says, it's happy to do that. So guy deliver the cars. It's another guy deliver the meat. That's me. So I'm gonna check my tires right now and I'm ready to go. It's a beautiful place here. So weather outside, it's incredible. Like I can stay here. It's actually four day fasting today. Like I love weather. And I stay in here like uh, breeding the weather wind of freedom. Freedom of United States. I love this country. 
and everything. People very friendly, very kind. It's that guy in the shop. Oh, that's, see that? That Ford. Nobody like the Ford, but he come into here. So I have Sprinter, but he is smart doing. He have a trailer behind him. So he probably put the motorcycle. That's what I shoot, I do behind my uh, van. Uh, put a motorcycle and carry motorcycle with all stuff inside there. But I'm too lazy. It's another 5-6k for the trailer. So no, I'm not afford right now trailer. It's nice carry a motorcycle inside. It's always with me. But anyway, guys, yeah, I go and driving right now. It's 400 kilometers left till the gym. So I go into gym right now. Well, no, not right now. When I hit the, uh, my place, we'll stay there just for the stitching. Stitching? Stitching? Uh, Strengthening? Or oh, like stitching myself? I don't know the proper word. So, and we'll not do any heavy lift suit today. Maybe pull ups. My hand, it's still sore. I cannot do dips. But we will try today. But anyway, guys, I see you in the next. Oh, that's the family. Two kids like my one. Where's the mom? No, mom is gone. So, yeah, she, no, just the dad and two kids. That's the pro perfect family. Okay, guys, I see you in the next video. Peace. Don't forget to put the uh, comments below. And uh, please subscribe if you don't mind. It's, it's here. You will have more interesting videos for the next years years and years quick video right now so guys my airbag is blowing out and we're gonna see what's going on there so i called the guy and uh, i called the guy and ask him to fix my airbag and he says oh i will bring the airbag to you and that's gonna cost you 700 bucks because you cannot drive in without airbag this is guys bullshit i show you what i did so my airbag is blowing out i don't know why it's losing this piece it's not this piece so I disconnect those hose, uh, hoses to uh, get a uh, pop in those airbags at the front. But this this airbag still bad one. Uh, like it's no air here. But now I can drive on the front airbags, but it's okay. But I have to drive it in only 40 kilometers till uh, truck stop uh, called the Loves. And there, the guys will replace that airbag. But this is kind of emergency. Now we're heading to, it's gonna be a little bit wiki wiki on the road, but it's okay. I am genius. I am genius. Yeah, I know. Like every driver, they should know what's it's uh, two lines, like, uh, uh two lines one line it's go airline for airbag another line it's going to the braking system that's why they call the primary and secondary uh airlines so i close the second line secondary and now i go in south to fix my airbag we'll see what the, those guys tell in there but i know i am genius power i see you next video guys so for now i in to the uh, truck stop low so the guys check the airbags and he says you don't have it so i don't want to looking for any other places to fix my uh airbag that guy, he says, it looks perfect for him. 
so driving without a right bud so driving without a one axle airbag he says it's okay he says in the phoenix loves they carry more uh, bugs there but it's usually take hours and hours to uh, fixing their airbags stay in the line it's girl driver and now I decide just go to Phoenix unload it and I still have a one day to fix my airbag for tomorrow that's best option to me because he is here he is charging five five hundred over it's nearly six hundred but that guy there he char he asked me uh, to uh, charge me uh, for 700 so those people they love respect each other and uh, i passed first uh, charger definitely he need the most oh motorcycle it's nice i love guys on motorcycles so now we're heading uh, to phoenix without fixing airbag and uh we're going we're heading now like it's about uh one and a half hour drive and uh i will stay at the planet fitness go to a little bit gym because tomorrow i will be busy and maybe tomorrow i go in one more time in the planet fitness go to the gym why not if I get a chance, go to gym. But problem is, I am on a fasting, and I cannot do any heavy lifts. So I probably will do pull-ups, something stretching, stretching. That's exactly that word. Uh, so what I gonna do tomorrow? And actually, tomorrow gonna be fifth day for stretching. It's perfect. I probably can touch all my pumps on the floor so that's what is my target for tomorrow because on the fasting you you're stretching it's more improved like you know you just like the uh, rubber like you know just uh, stretching so that's gonna be due tomorrow yeah but for today sad nobody fix and i don't want to fix uh, my airbag for 500 I think uh, I can fix my airbag for 400, 450, but still I can drive it. I don't care, like, you know, for its uh, two lines here, secondary and primary. So line it's secondary is uh, close. It's one axle lift up, second axle doesn't. And it's perfect. Oh, I forget, get my water for me. Oh, like I drink distillated water. It's so tasty. Like I can tell you guys. Years and years ago, like about eight, ten years ago, when I do my fasting, I always uh, drink water with lemon and honey. Honey I always take uh, on uh, needles, California. But for now, this year, I guess, yeah, I start in uh, practice my uh, dry fasting. Uh, and after second time when I do uh, dry fasting, that habit for the sweet, for honey, just disappear. I don't care for the honey. So that's one gallon uh, can of honey. I I remember I buy this one uh, one gallon like uh, well, five, seven years ago, five years ago for 
35 bucks. Now it's 65. So for five years, the guy increased full price. So, and that time every month I eat one gallon of honey. So that was crazy for the honey, like for the sweetness. But I didn't eat any chocolates, any candies, or like ketchup, mayonnaise, where's the sugar, contains the sugar. Uh, and remember, white sugar, it's a chemical product was created by the human. It's never growing up on the trees or never growing up on the um, plants. So if you eat the sweet, um, what's they call them, sweet fruits, that's the, they, they sweet. They have different uh, sugar there. It's, we call the sugar, but it's not sugar there, not white sugar there. It's a sweetness. Uh, fruits you can eat, unlimited. Unlimited, wherever you like it, you can eat it. Strawberry, you can eat whole bucket. Wherever, pomegranate, like one ton you can eat. But you will you will get allergy. Like I have allergy, allergy in Spain when I uh, took whole boot of the oranges. And I eat those only oranges because I was poor guy there. I like I was uh, homeless there. I oh maybe one day I will tell you the story how I stay in Spain. That's uh, very nice. Yeah, maybe tomorrow I will get the story how I stay in Spain. So and this one uh, was allergy. Okay, I will tell you that story tomorrow. But anyway, no, I will tell you about allergy uh, today. So an allergy. When I eat the uh, orange, three days. So I come back to, I sleep that time on the car. Yeah. So that's very interesting. I will tell that story tomorrow. So I feel my uh, body is starting uh, bumper, bumper. I don't know what's the name. And that was very strange to me. Why? I get a sick or something. So wake up in the morning, everything gone. In the morning, of course, I start to eat again. I just put my uh, arm behind the seats, take an orange. Oh, they so tasty. They so juicy. Uh, and uh, I start to eat it. Half hour later, again, I get uh, something shit on the forehead, like, you know, big bumps on the neck, on the back, on the front body. Oh. That guy he make a uh, splitting lanes in Arizona it's perfect and so and after that I realized that's the oranges so two days later I stopped finish uh, eating the oranges and I start to drink uh, something orange drink and again get uh, that shit on my body and after that I, I didn't eat uh, any oranges or drink something for a couple months that was my story and tomorrow I tell you a little bit of my life, how I in to Europe. So, so that's going to be interesting. How I sleep in a prison. It's uh, nobody stay and uh, nobody live uh, in a prison. That's what I, I don't know what that, that's the word. Like that's prison wasn't used. And it's only hobos and the homeless people stay there in that prison yeah i will tell you those story and uh, yeah that's nice that's what i tell you tomorrow so okay guys uh it's road it's really bad here i just realized right now so and uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe and put your comments below and i see you next short video finally i'm in the phoenix so that guy who asked me about 700 for pay for airbag i will not pay for airbag seven 700 bucks so i remove my old one but i don't have uh, the tools for that so i went to the walmart 
they don't have it. I, I, I remove one bolt. I remove one bolt because it was easy from outside. But the second bolt from inside, it's, it's, I have to change clothes, everything, go there. Will be dirty for tonight. No, I, that's not my way. So I started and then I just realized I need a socket. But I didn't have socket for the first one. So I went to the Walmart. They say, no, we don't have it that size. I just need a 28. So I went to the next shop. It's uh, Laos. So those guys, they have it. So I remove now uh, airbag. And tomorrow I go to the uh, flip right, show them my airbag, and I will get a new airbag. With a cheaper price, I hope it's not gonna be more than 200. I hope so. Oh, people talking there. And so totally, I should spend on my airbag. It's actually, that airbag was uh, fixing like two, three months ago. It's, uh, I still have a uh, fresh uh, bolts there. And um, I don't know what's happened, maybe factory fault or something but that base where all airbags stay in so just uh, disappear so maybe he going too high and just kick out those base i have no idea what's going on but it looks like airbag it's, it's good like no any rips it's no base there so i go in tomorrow uh fleet pride get my airbag and I have all day to fix tomorrow. Even if I will be dirty, I go to Planet Fitness. Bam! We'll do workout. And uh, we'll stay another day in the Phoenix because I have another uh, delivery. But I will stay uh, beside, uh, what's the call them? Uh, Planet Fitness. But for now, plan is. I am hero, I fix my airbags and I save about 500 maybe bucks, maybe more. Because I don't have money right now. I pay five days ago 91,000 for that apartment, which I, I don't even live there. Uh, so, and now I don't have extra 500 pay for that stupid trailer. So that's the stupid trailer, it's five years old. I get the trailer from the brand new. So it's about half year ago. It's starting all airbags just blowing. And that's one was for this airbag. I already pay something 400 bucks. And that guy who fixed those airbags, that's an Amarillo. That guy is a, his rip off the he rip off all trackers there. And he charged something for labor one and a half hour for fixing airbags one and a half hour so like for me it took about like 15 minutes to remove those two bolts that's with while when i smoke i'm not smoking but i can smoke between those two bolts uh, one cigarette it's it should be took me 15 minutes i don't know why he charged me that time one and a half hour yeah and that time i fight with him because I, I not uh, agree with the people overcharging. But now I am in a Walmart. So, and I go chilling on my truck because next four hours I have to move from here. I talk with the security. It's a nice guy. It's, I don't know, like he have accent. I don't know. It's probably accent from uh, Libya or Lebanon. It's an old guy. I asked him, can I stay here till 11? He says, you can stay here till midnight. So at midnight, I will move from here. I see no truck or RV parking. But he told me it's there I can park. I says, no, don't worry about. I don't need it parking there. Maybe at night I come there, will stay. Or maybe I go after unloading, go to the pride. And in the morning, straight away go to them, change my airbag. And I actually, I'm really happy for that. What I can fix that because I have big experience with my trucking company in Ireland. Tomorrow, I will tell you about the Spain 
and after tomorrow I will tell about my trucking company in Ireland. So that's another big, uh, huge story. Yeah, that's I do, and I think I don't remember. I have 11 or 16 trucks uh, in Ireland. Sorry, I will I will tell you after tomorrow. So guys, I go to chill now. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and put your comments below. And I see you in the next video. Good night, guys.